Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Coffee break. Um, so let's talk about the market. So big move down today, right? You got 5% down on the NASDAQ 100. Uh, after the close, you got another uh, 1%. Q's are down another two points after the close. Uh, you know, you, you just hear like every every 30 seconds, uh, different part of the world, um, people are getting quarantined or a new case. Uh, we had some actually good um, messages come back from a certain part, especially in New York, that, 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 that 83 people that were tested, they came back negative. So there are good parts, right? It's not just one-sided, all doom and gloom, the, the, the end of the world, right? Uh, but the market doesn't like uncertainty, and it, it really doesn't. And you know, t today from the from the from the trading point of view, it turned out to be a pretty good day. Okay, uh, this week has been very aggressive. Yesterday was ridiculously aggressive. Today, um, you know, I had a very very specific plan coming in overnight. Okay, we talked about this last night uh, on my watch list uh, going into uh, going into tonight. Today was uh, pretty much. Short. Uh, it was. It was basically short. Uh, airlines, uh, restaurants, casinos, uh, restaurants, casinos, uh, airplanes, uh, and 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 cruise ships. Right. And when I woke up this morning, and Tesla. Right. And Tesla. And my only long play that I really liked from yesterday, from last night's video, was Netflix. Okay. So when the market. When the market gapped down today, it was a pretty significant gap down, right? We talked about, you know, 400 and change, everything from everything that I wanted. Because again, I'm just trading the ranges right now. So I'm coming in flat. And, you know, you saw this really big gap down today. You saw, you know, wind down seven and Dallas down two and all these, you know, everything. RCL got crushed, CCL got crushed. And, the, the one thing that I saw today was I, I said to myself, well, the value today is going to be to the upside, at least to the open. And the one thing in trading, you, you, you can't box yourself in or you can't, uh, you can't have the fear of missing out of chasing price action that's not at the levels that you want to trade. And what I'm proud of us from doing today was that we, you know, we didn't fall victim to, you know what, let's chase these airlines down two. Let's not, let's chase these hotels down three, four. Let's just wait, you know, let's just wait. If there was a washout, let's just see if there is option flow. Let's just see if there is a, any evidence that there could be any specific sign of a washout type of bottom that could occur. And, you know, the way the day played out was really good. And at some point I tweeted out when we were down 900 points, we started seeing really, really aggressive. All you guys who, who have option uh, scanners, you kind of know this. You started seeing mid-morning really aggressive bets uh, on airlines, right? You saw, you know, so you saw DAL $1.1 million, uh, I think it was the weeklies, uh, 50 calls. It was like $2 out of the money. Uh, you saw MGM Grand, right? MGM Grand, uh, big bet as well, over a million dollars as well. Big bets on the ETFs uh, into fear. And I turned around, I said, listen, we're down, you know, we're down nearly, this is when the market was down like 900 points today. And I said, you know, we're down like 900, we're down like almost 3,000 points in three days. I, I, again, I would not, I, I don't want to short anything. I said, I don't want to short anything. I think the value today uh, is to the upside, okay, is to the upside. And I, I think there's a shot. I think this market goes, I, I think there is a shot this market could possibly go green and rally 500, 700 points. And, and slowly but surely, we started seeing that. It was, it was actually amazing. Uh, we went from being down 900 to being down 200. The individual pivots were very, very aggressive. We'll go through all of them in a second. And next thing you know, I mean, you got hit with literally... 10, 15 coronavirus headlines in a matter of five minutes. And then next thing you know, any, you know, 700 point reversal down 200 points in the day, 
and it was done. It was done basically. The fear came back and the markets completely got washed out. You got four and a half percent declines all across the board. And at some point, uh, at some point, somebody asked me, well, it's a pretty, pretty, bit, you know, pretty big prediction, the uh, market going green. Who cares? Who cares if the market's going green, right? At this point, the market's going from down 900 to down 200. Who cares about being right? The value plays were there. The pivots were there. You know, the, the, we took advantage of these pivots. So it would have been nice to see this big rally and, and, and if these headlines would have been engulfed. But again, it's just not there yet. It's just absolutely not there yet. And uh, the market got washed. I mean, you saw a 1,200-point move on the Dow. It was pretty, pretty aggressive. And all the plays that... I was watching going green, and they won green. The casinos turned green. The airlines turned green. Uh, Netflix was a was a monster today, absolute monster today. Uh, but this is again why we always say, you know, we say this all the time. We don't care, right? We don't care what the market does as long as it gives us ranges and gives us defined risk within those ranges. We're cool, you know. We're cool. Again, I, I don't. I would rather have a bull market, of course. Everybody's doing better, right? Everybody's doing better. Uh, everybody's happier, you know, macro wise, everything is great. When you have a decisive market going to the downside, again, if you're, you know, if you've been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years, you saw this already, right? You saw this already. This is kind of the reminder of what happened during the mortgage mess, right? The only difference is we're talking about economic collapse versus uh, a virus, but that virus, as we talked about last night in the video, has a domino effect. It, again, it could spew into Big business, and again, you see every you know you're starting to see Microsoft uh, give some negative guidance. So Apple last week gives some guidance. You saw hell MGM talking about like 90% of their 90% uh, of their casinos in Asia is like empty. So this has a potential for a really really aggressive effect uh, to the economy, especially for the brick and mortar uh, businesses. But what's great about what we where we are now compared to where we were. Uh, during the you know during the mortgage mess, number one, the society in general has deleveraged. Okay, and back then there was much more, much more, um, you know, reliance on brick and mortar versus now. You don't even need to be in the office, right? If there is, God forbid, some sort of pandemic, and again, hopefully there won't be, you know, business can still survive. Look at all of us. All of us are having this this conversation right now over the internet. Most companies now you know can let, will let you work at home so hopefully right hopefully i, I thought i thought i saw a headline coming in uh from from israel talking about that they have something that they're working on and maybe they could find something get something done in the next couple months the, the good thing is and, and I, I i i heard this from somewhere that now that we're starting to get warmer temperatures hopefully this will be something that once it starts getting warmer uh, that this will kind of die down. We're hoping, you know, we're hoping until they kind of find an antidote to kind of cure this is if this thing pops up again uh, for next year. So again, there is a lot of doom and gloom out there, but as a society, we are different, right? We are different and just trading from, you know, trading from, um, just talking about it from the trading point of view, it's much easier for me to have this conversation in 2020 when I went through this, again, not similar, but again, mayhem, uh, potential Armageddon, right? 2007, 2008, 2009. And, and the good news is we got through it, right? We got through it. Um, and if you look at all the, you know, all the diseases, the, the SARS, uh, you know, the SARS and you know, all these different, you know, different things that we've seen throughout the years, we got through it, right? We got through it. So yeah, it's, it's a shitty time. Excuse my French. It's a, it's a crappy time to kind of be, especially a new trader when all you know is a linear bull market. And, you know, and, and all I kept on hearing was when, when we were in this bull market and the dips were getting bought off those rising 60 minute channels, well, traders love volatility. And all I kept on saying was, well, be careful what you ask for, right? You're talking about expanded ranges. When things get volatile, right? When things get, it's all good, right? It's all good until things get volatile. And then next thing you know, you're seeing the same people that talk about, oh, we love volatility. Well, we, we're getting volatility, right? Right, well, you're confusing volatility with expansion ranges. Every you know, everybody thinks they want volatility and things until things get volatile. And the same people that are talking about volatility is great, volatility is great. And now we're talking about well, so you got to sit on your hands. Cash is a position, right? Cash is a position. Sit on your hands. You got to be careful, guys. Understand this. You got to be careful in the most rapid bull market. Okay, right now you just have to be responsible. 
That's all it is. That's the difference. You have to be careful in a bull market. In a bear market, things are different. Things are much more aggressive. There's less market participants. That's why stocks go a lot lower, faster, harder, less liquidity, less size. But that's what happens. Then the market goes, go, you know, goes higher and there's more market participants. Because again, remember, it's much easier to get a $20 candle to the downside in Tesla than a $20 candle to the upside. Remember that. Um, so the, the one thing, if you are a new trader right now, again, again, you've never went through it, okay? But this is the type of market that if you could just understand what, why it's happening, why market structure is breaking down, and if you don't have a process, right? If you don't have a process, it's your job to stay out, okay? Not to play around, it's your job to stay out. And again, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? I trade channels. For me, it doesn't make a difference long short as long as there's channels that are confirming to the upside to the downside in the middle it's all good we could pick spots we've been doing that non-stop for almost 10 years now and the most important part going into tomorrow's cycle is there's nothing that i'm looking at right now and saying well i have to watch this tomorrow we're going to do tomorrow exactly what we did today okay we're going to wait for channels to establish depending on how the futures uh the futures wake up tomorrow you know maybe they're down another four or five hundred points maybe god knows maybe they're up okay well, let's assume down again we're going to wait for value to the upside we're going to wait for channels to 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 hit supply we're going to wait for the confirming channels rinse repeat rinse repeat rinse repeat but we're going to do it in a very calm orderly way that's the only way you're going to survive a rabid exaggerated market with an extreme catalyst you got to be an adult about it and again if you don't have the process to navigate this type of market just admit that to yourself, right? Admit that to yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. Stay out, stay out. It's much easier, right? It's much easier to understand your strengths and weaknesses than be thick-headed about it, right? Be, you know, be a knucklehead and try to trade daily channels where daily channels are not going to confirm in this type of environment only to give back, you know, God knows a week, a month, two months, a year's worth of profits to kind of teach yourself a lesson. You don't need to teach yourself a lesson. I'm telling you what's going to happen. So it's very, very important to kind of recognize where your strengths are, where your weakness are, weaknesses are, and kind of navigate the markets uh, therefore, um, you know, strong day today, strong day, guys. Again, just a quick reminder uh, for all you guys who, who do want to jump on the feed and the feed's been, I mean, I mean, look at it. It's just really great stuff. Um, and again, it, it, I didn't wake up, you know, we didn't wake up one morning and have these things kind of miraculously work out. This is, you know, I've been trading pivots now for about nine years, man. This is, this is something in a good market. It's great. In a bad market, it's, it's, it's very, very good. Again, liquidity is always an issue in the spreads. But again, it's something that I just feel comfortable in trading right now. So if you want to jump on the feed, guys, you got a couple of days left to kind of lock in these rates. And then we're going to, uh, the rates are going to go up uh, in the beginning of the month. So if you are interested, please don't hesitate. So let's talk about the pivots today. Um, really good stuff. So I, you know, I said this, if you guys are short overnight, make sure you take your profits. There's a scenario I could see for reversal at some point this morning, which exactly what we saw. This day could have been perfect. Uh, but again, those late headlines really killed us. So, you know, basically we talked about all these things uh, in, in the webinar uh, last night, uh, excuse me, in the um, last in the afternoon. Uh, so all you guys who did come in, Dallas Love, JetBlue, Win, Las Vegas Sands, all this stuff, great job. Uh, big gap downs this morning and blah, 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 blah. So this is where we talked about uh, the specific channels today. Uh, have to be patient today. The value is to the upside. We have to wait for those channels to confirm. And they did. So let's talk about the market today. Uh, pretty, pretty good, uh, really, really good day. So we talked about all this. So it started out uh, square 8270, 83 needs to build. Uh, they came out with earnings very strong, very, very strong. Here is the 8270, right? Here's the 8270, 83 build. We said there's a shot to 85. You know, beautiful move, beautiful move right to 85.93 actually, really strong move on Square. Um, I, didn't I didn't short any space. If you guys did, congratulations. Uh, 23.50, 23.25, if it builds below, it can flush more. A again, it's just, it's just basic technical analysis in extreme environments, but again, it works. So here's the whole channel right here, right? Here's the whole channel right here. It broke down, right? It took out that 23 and a quarter, 23 and a half, and went all the way down to that. Went down to 19. I thought it was going to hit 20, went to 19. Big, big move on space. 
Uh, Shaq, you know, Shaq gave a move. Again, it's one of those names uh, from last night's uh, commentary. Uh, Shaq, if it builds below, can flush more. Uh, Shaq, again, wasn't really a big move. Uh, really wasn't a big move. So here was the whole uh, 60 break. It went down to like 58, 70. So it wasn't one of those monster, monster breaks. But again, cash flow is cash flow. So if you got a good job there. Uh, and again, here's my comment, you know, every pivot, just take along the way and just use break even as you stop. Again, it's, it's not about being, it's not about being right, just accumulating, uh, accumulating a move. Here, here is the big move. Here is the big move today. Uh, here is definitely my big move today. Uh, Netflix, 378.30, 378.50, uh, it needs to build. Uh, just, I mean, again, we talked about the thesis last night on the video. Uh, again, I, I thought it was a natural, perfect play for anybody that wants to stay home, uh, that doesn't want to be in crowded places. And market agreed. So we talked about this right here, this 84, uh, 278, right? 278, what was, it? what was the number? 278, yeah, 278, 30, 278, 50 needs to build. So here was, um, you know, here was Netflix right here. Here was Netflix right here. Uh, got long, this thing just, just exploded, just absolutely exploded. It first paused at 82. Uh, I made some sales in the 81s. It came back red, right? Went back to green, and then it confirmed the, the big number there. And I, and, and I tweeted this out. Uh, right after, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Once it got above uh, the 382, right? I put this back in the channel. Once it got back of the 382, that was the previous day's high, it just exploded, went all the way up to 392. So if you caught that whole move, uh, congratulations. I caught a part of it, but I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, so Netflix was good. Again, uh, take sales, uh, nice move for all you guys with second entries. Again, I was not in space. Um, yeah, watch the airlines, you know, watch the airlines, airlines turning, you know, Dallas 1.1 $1 million bet uh, on the 50s, watch the red to green, this thing went up about 80, 90 cents, uh, Netflix 82 now needs to reclaim, again, went up 10 points after that, uh, big move there as well, again, going to 85 and it bypassed 85, kept on going, and I saw sell into this, right, sell into this, 84, 85, and it kept on going, um, same thing, you know, M MAR just exploded. Watch Win in Las Vegas Sands, red to green. Win went up like six, right? Win went, I mean, Win had a massive move. I mean, I mean look at this move. Win went green, it put up like six dollars. Uh, Las Vegas went up almost like a dollar fifty, dollar seventy. I mean, big turnaround. And it, it could have been such a huge, it could have been such a good reversal if those headlines just didn't come in. I mean, we, we literally went down from down 900 to down 220, man. I thought this was it. I thought, I thought we were going to turn around and have a thousand point rally. It just never came. Again, Mar, you know, MAR on watch red to green. No, this is not a pivot. It has to confirm 2150. Look at the move that MAR did. It is insane, right? Here's the, here's the 2150. It confirmed this thing went to 27. I mean, just it. What could have been? What could have been if this if the, if extra news didn't come out? It would have been outrageous. Uh, Roku, again, they just kept on going one after another. Roku, 111, huge supply. If the market wakes up, keep an eye, it needs to reclaim. Um, I didn't trade any Roku. By this time, I was already, I was already done for the day. But here's the 111, right? Here's the 111 reclaimed. It went to 115. Huge, I mean, huge moves. Again, huge, huge moves here. Um, huge moves here. Uh, China, Starbucks, red to green, didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, Starbucks actually went green. It went up like 50 cents, 15 cents. And then crash down. Um, so that one did not work. Uh, Square, let's go. Take on everything. Uh, March, you know, MAR, oh my God, oh my God. It went up $7. Uh, Roku, like I said, Roku, take on the way up. Bang, blah, and blah. I mean, at one point, there was big moves. CCL, watch red to green. This thing I took went up about uh, 50, 60 cents. This was a you know big move there as well on CCL. Um, yeah. That's it. I mean, it was it was a really strong day, very very strong day. And then, man, without those headlines, we would have had a monster monster day. We really would. I mean, it really would have been a really really strong day because I think if those extra headlines didn't come out around one o'clock, right, one one thirty, I, I think we would have been up a thousand points today. I really do. But again, it is what it is. This is why you take on the way up. Uh, you don't play any games. You use break even as you stop. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So again, I don't love anything overnight, right? I don't love anything as far as individual plays for tomorrow. Uh, I want to see how the futures open up. Okay, we're open down. Um, I, I want to make sure that I, I want to make sure that we are seeing proper channels for tomorrow. Okay, uh, we're probably going to start our day at ten o'clock tomorrow on the first candle just to see the initial market noise kind of filter out. 
because the last thing we want to do is kind of jump the gun and guess. We want to make sure uh, everything confirms. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Stay safe. Uh, please get to the live webinar early tomorrow morning strategy. We'll talk about all these pivots. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Have a great night. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.